In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. We pause now to ask God's mercy. Lord, in your infinite love and forgiveness, hear us as we call out to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, There shall yet come people, the inhabitants of many cities, and the inhabitants of one city shall approach those of another, and say, Come, let us go to implore the favor of the Lord, and I too will go to seek the Lord. Many peoples and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem, and to implore the favor of the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, In those days ten men of every nationality, speaking different tongues, shall take hold. Yes, take hold of every Jew by the edge of his garment and say, Let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is with us. God, God is with us. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob, glorious things are said to you, O city of God. God, God is, is with, with us. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those that know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, and Ethiopia, this man was born there. And of Zion they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. God, God is with us. us. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. God, God is, is with us. us. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem and sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them and they journeyed to another village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The uh, Gospel today was one that I mentioned when I was preaching uh, on Sunday, uh, just to re-emphasize that um, John, who also in that Gospel on Sunday, wanted to punish those who were casting out demons in Jesus' name and weren't part of their group. So James and John, the brothers of thunder today, want to consume an entire village of people in fire because they did not welcome Jesus because he was going to Jerusalem. 
And what does that have to do with us, I guess we might say, but the fact that as Jesus journeys through our lives and through our world, that there are many for mistaken reasons who may not welcome him. But he does not condemn, nor does he want us to condemn. He continues journeying on. There is a different time and a dis different place and a different moment from a different person that people open their hearts up to God. It's all in his time. So we too must realize that even in our own families and in our communities and homes, there are people who have not yet welcomed Jesus into their heart, into their home, into their lives, perhaps for reasons of mistaken belief or the hurt from the past, or the poor example of Christians, whatever it may be, we should never condemn. We should always continue to preach and live the word until their day, their time comes. Let us stand to pray. With hearts filled with gratitude, we turn our gaze to the Lord who hears every prayer. For all the members of the church, may the Holy Spirit bless us with the gift of piety. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, may God increase their dedication to peace and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those treated inhospitably, may Jesus travel with them as they find their ultimate home in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the life of each believer bear fruit through the grace of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the deceased, may Jesus bring their souls to eternal rest, most especially for Dolores Ferguson being remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For what else shall we pray? For Mary, Timothy, and Colleen, that they keep on recovering well. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the Giacchetti family, as they bury their loved one today, that they may receive the comfort and strength that comes from God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of heaven and earth, we entrust ourselves to end these requests into your loving care through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. As it be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O merciful Lord, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially Dolores being remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray now in confidence. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Amen. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing care for us, make us worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Have a good day, all.